Let the hands come down, out in front of you, roll up over your knees, and come right into tabletop. Push down with the tops of the feet, take a big inhale in, drop the belly, and exhale it out, rounding the spine. Big inhale in, dropping the belly, pushing the whole palm down, and exhale it out. Take a few deep inhales and exhales, and cow and cat. And if you happen to have a little feline friend with you, like we do here on the screen, they can just help to inspire you for flexibility, because my goodness, how flexible they are. A few deep inhales and deep exhales. One more big inhale in. And this time as you exhale, tuck the toes and come right into plank. Take a big inhale in and plank, spread the fingers out, push the, the heels back behind you, relax the shoulders down. Exhale down to Chaturanga, get your shoulders right, way out over the fingers. Inhale through and up to Cobra, the shoulders down and away. Exhale back, downward facing dog. Inhale forward to plank, exhale down to Chaturanga. Inhale through and up to Cobra, relax the shoulders down and back, engage the low back. Exhale, tuck the toes, downward facing dog. Inhale, rolling forward. Exhale, down, warming the body up. Inhale, through and up, maybe straightening the arms. Exhale, tuck the toes, downward facing dog. Inhale, forward one more time. Exhale, down to Chaturanga. Inhale, through and up. Maybe upward facing dog, lifting those knees, relaxing the shoulders down. Exhale, back, downward facing dog. Take a few deep, well-deserved breaths, maybe bending one knee and then the other, warming up the body. Long inhales and long exhales, spreading the fingers, pushing the whole palm down onto the earth, finding those long inhales and long exhales. We're going to move through a couple of sun salutations, again, just warming up the body. We want to make sure our body is very warm before we get into these deep stretches to allow the muscles to find that new resting place so that we can find a little more flexibility, a little more strength. So, on an inhale, come up to the balls of your feet, turn your gaze forward, step or float to the front of your mat. Exhale, relaxing down toward your toes, inhale halfway up, bring the hands to your shins, tuck the chin, and exhale, melt a little deeper. Inhale, rolling up one vertebra at a time, bring the hands to heart center. Close the eyes. A few deep breaths, pushing down with the outsides of your feet, tucking your pelvis under, relaxing your shoulders down. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, leading with the heart down toward the toes. Inhale, halfway up, tuck the chin, feeling the length. Exhale, place the hands down, bend into the knees, take the right foot back and left foot back to meet the right. Take a big inhale in and plank. Exhale, down to Chaturanga. Inhale, through and up, upward facing dog. Exhale, back, downward facing dog. Inhale, that right foot up in between your hands. Exhale, bring the left up to meet the right. Exhale, down into nice forward fold. Inhale, halfway up. And exhale, release. Inhale, rolling up one vertebra at a time. Bring the hands to heart center. Inhale them all the way up into the sky. And then exhale, leading with the heart down to the toes. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, plant the hands down. Send the left foot back behind you. Right foot back to make the left. Take a big inhale and plank. Exhale, down to Chaturanga. Inhale, through and up. Upward facing dog. Exhale, back, downward facing dog. Inhale, bring that left foot up in between the hands. Exhale, bring the right foot up to meet the left, forward fold. Inhale, halfway up, tuck the chin, feel the length. Exhale, down toward the earth. Inhale, rolling up all the way through heart center, reaching the fingers up into the sky. Exhale, leading with the heart. Warming up the whole body. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, melting down. 
Feeling the body warming up, send the right foot back, take a big inhale in plank, exhale down to chaturanga, inhale through and up, exhale back downward facing dog. With each movement, inhaling the right foot forward, finding just a little more, exhale, bring the left foot up to meet the right, inhale halfway up, Exhale, releasing down every time you breathe, inhaling all the way up through heart center, all the way up into the sky. Exhaling down, finding a little deeper stretch. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, plant the hands, send the left foot all the way back. Send the right foot back as you inhale, all the way down to Chaturanga. Exhaling it out, inhale through and up, finding a little deeper Warmth, exhaling back, downward facing dog. A few deep breaths, feeling that warmth circulating. Inhale, coming forward to plank. Exhale, all the way down to the earth. Take the left hand out to the side and start to push with that right hand down into the earth to open up through the shoulder and chest. Taking a few deep breaths, rolling onto that left side. And then take that right arm out to the right side, left hand underneath that left shoulder, rolling over, opening up the chest and the shoulder. Breathing deep. And relaxing down, bringing both hands underneath your shoulders, pushing yourself right up to plank. Take a big inhale in. Exhale it out. Inhale that left foot, right foot up in between your hands. Straighten that right leg. Bring your toes parallel to each other. And then just sit down in between your hands. Let your feet come out nice and wide. Nice wide-legged seat. Take a big inhale in, reach the hands up. Turn over the right toes and exhale down towards your toes. Inhale, coming up to center. Exhale down to the left. Inhale through center, exhale to the right. Maybe you're just here, just grabbing onto the shin. But I want you to think more about getting your chest down towards your knee, then getting your forehead or nose down towards your knee. So you're pulling the tops of your legs back towards you and pushing your sit bones back behind you. If you're reaching down toward those toes, and you'd like, you can take the opposite arm up over your ear if that's available to you. Moving with your breath, inhaling through center, exhaling to the side. Inhale to center, exhale to the side. Every time you head down towards your toes, getting just a little bit closer. Take a big inhale in. Turn over those right toes and exhale down. Reaching the forehead down. Inhale, shining the heart forward, reaching the heart down for the toes. And then exhale, release. Inhale, looking forward, trying to get your shoulders right over that knee. Exhale, relaxing down. Inhaling forward. Exhale and release. Inhale, pulling yourself forward just a little more. And exhale, release. Inhale forward. Exhale, release. Take a few deep breaths. Finding those long inhales and long exhales. With every inhale, pulling the crown of your head a little closer. And with every exhale, relaxing the muscles into it. Inhale, coming up through center. Exhale, turn over those left toes, relaxing down. Take an 
Inhale in, square the shoulders off. Exhale, release. Inhale, shining that heart forward, pulling down toward those toes. Exhale and release it down. Inhale, shining the heart, maybe just pulling against that calf. And exhale, relaxing down. Inhale it up. Exhale, release. Inhale, turn the gaze forward, feeling that length. Exhale, release it down. Inhale it forward. Exhale, release. Inhale forward one more time. Really feel that length. Reach the crown of the head. Get those shoulders right over that knee. And then exhale, releasing down. Take a few deep inhales. Deep exhales. With every inhale, pulling yourself a little closer to that, to those toes. And with every exhale, relaxing the muscles. Inhale, rolling up. Reach the hands up. And exhale, reach right out in front of you. Down onto the earth. Stopping anywhere along the way. Thinking more about getting your heart down toward the earth than getting your nose or forehead down. So flexing the toes, pulling them back toward you. And then relaxing the head, neck, and shoulders. Slowly rolling up. One vertebra at a time. And bring the knees up into your chest. Float the toes up off the earth. It should feel really good after all that work on the hips. And send your feet back behind you. Roll right up into plank. And exhale down to Chaturanga. Inhale through and up. And exhale back, downward facing dog. Take a few deep inhales and deep exhales. <sighs> Relaxing the breath. Pushing your entire leg back behind you. Closing down with your entire hand. Seeing if you can feel the difference in your hips. A few deep breaths. And then as you're ready, inhale that right heel all the way up into the sky. Exhale, bring it forward in between your hands, sink the hips down. Come up to your fingertips, reaching the crown of the head high, reaching that left heel back behind you. Breathing deep. Inhale, shine that heart up. Exhale, place that left knee down, untuck the toes. Inhale, coming up to the fingertips, really shining that heart up. Exhale, rolling back, pushing down with the top of that left foot, reaching the crown of the head down toward the right toes. Inhaling forward, shining the heart up, relax the shoulders back. Exhale, flex the right toes, reaching down with the crown of the head, pushing down with the top of the left foot. Inhale, rolling forward. And then exhale, rolling back. Inhale, rolling forward. Exhale it back, flex those toes. Inhale forward. And then exhale back. This time as you exhale back, you can head all the way down back to that heel if that's available to you. Or if you'd like, these are all the same muscles required for full splits. 
So just come right on down to full splits. Otherwise, you know that you're working on the same flexibility required. So you can either keep heading back and forth, feeling that opening in the hips. You can find a little stillness, maybe heading all the way back toward that heel. Breathing deep wherever you are. Just opening up those hips, all the same flexibility required for splits. As you are ready, everyone meet us back in the high lunge. Breathing deep. Inhale yourself forward and up and come into crescent pose. Trying to tuck that left hip slightly forward and pushing the left heel back behind you. Engaging the core, take a round out of the spine. Big inhale in. Exhale, bring the hands down to heart center. Take the left elbow on the outside of the right thigh. Pushing down with that right hand. Opening up that right shoulder up into the sky, working on a little flexibility in the back. If you'd like, you can come reaching that left hand down, right hand up, or if it's in your practice, you can come into the full bind. Wherever you are, breathing deep, finding those long inhales and long exhales into that tight diaphragm. Take one more big inhale in. Exhale, reach the hands out in front of you. Place the hands down on the earth. Place the left heel down and inhale yourself right up into warrior one. Exhale, bend just a little deeper. Pull that right heel back towards you. Try to get that left hip just as far forward as it was in crescent. Inhale, straighten that front leg. And then exhale down. Place your hands on either side of that front foot and just come right into pyramid pose, reaching the crown of the head down toward those toes. Maybe you're just right here, pulling that right hip back toward the left heel, breathing deep, thinking more about getting your chest down to your knee than your nose, reaching the crown of the head down, finding those long inhales and long exhales, And bringing the torso parallel to the earth, reaching the left fingertips down, reach the right fingertips up into the sky. Maybe you're just on the tips of those fingers. Maybe bringing that left hand up to that right shin. Maybe placing the whole down, hand down on the earth. Parita Trikonasana. Opening up the outside of that right leg. Trying to kiss your shoulder blades back behind you. Gazing up toward that right thumb if it's available to you. Tucking the right hip underneath you. One more big inhale in. And exhale, bend into that front knee. And then cartwheel yourself right up into warrior two. Be sure that the right knee is heading right out over the toes. Pull the right heel back towards you. Relax the shoulders down away from your ears. Breathing deep. Inhale, turn that right palm up, send it back, make your way peaceful. Much as you reach with the right fingertips, bend with that right knee. Be sure it's not collapsing into the left. So you really feel the opening in the right side of the body. Inhale, straighten that leg. Exhale, reach with the right fingers as far as you can. And then down toward the shin, peace grip, earth. Pulling that right hip back toward that left heel, tucking it underneath you. If you're feeling this in your left obliques, I want you to come up a little bit on your leg and try to find a nice straight spine so that way you can tuck the right hip underneath you and feel it in the back of the right hip instead of in the left obliques. Breathing deep. One more inhale in, exhale, bring that right elbow up to the right thigh, reach the left arm up over your ear, pushing out with that right hand. If the left thigh is pointing down to the earth, slightly bring the left heel in towards you so you can point the left thigh up into the sky. Finding those long inhales and long exhales, maybe coming through the right hand down or all the way through the bind. 
If you can't see the sky in the bind, I want you to come back, back off just a little bit so you can still open it up, tucking that right hip underneath you. And then start to straighten that right leg, bring the right toes in to meet, to be parallel to the left. And then keep walking over to the left toes, and then walking all the way around, back behind you. Turn around in a second so you can bring your knees on top of each other. Show you what I'm doing at home. So you want to try to get your feet so that they're in the same line and try to get your knees one on top of the other. It's really going to open up the outside of those hips. Either sitting up tall or reaching your hands out in front of you. Breathing deep. And everybody sit up nice and tall. Take a big inhale in. Reach the hands up. As you exhale, take that right hand on the outside of the left. Left hand right behind you. Breathing deep. Putting up the outside of the hips. One more big inhale in. And as you exhale, unwind. Keep the unwind going all the way till you find yourself back in a wide-legged forward fold. Walk the hands over to the right. Turn the right toes out. Come up to the ball of the left foot. Send the right foot back to meet the left. Take a big inhale in and plank. Exhale down to Chaturanga. Inhale through and up. And exhale back to child's pose. Let the knees be nice and wide, big toes together, relaxing the forehead down on the earth. Take a few deep, well-deserved breaths, connecting to the earth underneath you, finding those long inhales and long exhales. Now we're going to head to the other side, and you know where we're going. So I want you to focus on the transitions in between the poses, finding them as graceful as you can. And we can learn to find grace and stability in our transitions. We'll learn that each of our poses become a little easier. We can find a little more space. So with that in mind, slowly coming up through tabletop, tuck the toes, send the hips back, come into downward facing dog. Inhale that left heel up and back, trying to point it down toward the earth, sink the heart. Exhale, bring it forward into the lunge, sinking the hips down, and be sure that your ankle is right underneath your knee, reaching that right heel back behind you, coming up to your fingertips, reaching the crown of the head away. Sinking the hips down so you can feel that opening underneath the right and on top of the left hip. Or vice versa, underneath the left on top of the right. Breathing deep. With every inhale, feeling a little more length. With every exhale, feeling a little more surrender. Take a big inhale in. Exhale, place that right knee down. Inhale, coming up to the fingertips, shining the heart. Exhale, rolling back, flexing those left toes. Inhale, rolling forward. Exhale, rolling back. A few inhales and exhales at the pace of your breath. You'll notice throughout so much of this practice, I'm very focused on your inhales, in your exhales. And you can really learn to connect the breath with the flexibility. You'll find that with a little deeper breath, you can go a little deeper into your posture. Now your body will start to communicate to you at some point, saying, I don't want to be here. Why are we still here? And as long as you're not feeling 
a pinching. As long as you're not feeling a pain that can cause injury, and your body knows the difference. It's the difference between being uncomfortable and something being physically painful. So as long as you are just uncomfortable, I want you to find a deeper breath. Let that little spot relax just a little bit more. And you'll find if you focus on your breath and focus on the relaxation, instead of focusing on the discomfort, you'll find just a little more space. Next time that you exhale back, maybe relaxing all the way back, or if the splits are in your practice, go ahead and coming into the full splits. But know that you're working on all the same muscles required for the splits. So even if you want to just keep rolling back and forth, just breathing deep. Maybe you want to just relax into a little bit, just to see what that feels like, just to feel it underneath the left and on top of the right. Know that you're using all the same muscles Wherever you decide to be, the same flexibility. Just opening up the hips. And think about that breath, and think about that resistance. Is the resistance painful, or is it uncomfortable? If it's uncomfortable, just breathe a little deeper. If it's painful, then back off a little bit. And then as you're ready, everyone come back up to the lunge. Pulling that left heel back towards you. Be sure the heel is lined up with the hip. Same with the right heel and the right hip. And inhale, reach your arms out in front of you. Exhale, keep that chest down on the thigh. Inhale yourself right up into crescent pose. Reaching that right heel back behind you. Engage the core. Take the arch out of the spine. Breathing deep, pulling that left heel back towards you, relaxing the shoulders down. Take one more big inhale in. Exhale, bring the hands down to heart center. Take the right elbow on the outside of the left thigh. Pushing down with that left hand and try to bring your hands back to heart center. Maybe reaching the right hand down to the outside of the left foot and left fingers up into the sky. Or if the bind is in your practice, coming into the full bind. Still breathing deep. Now if you can see how much my stomach has to work to push into that tight space. I want you to really breathe deep into that twisted diaphragm. You'll be amazed how much the deep breath creates a little more space so you can twist just a little bit deeper. Take one more big inhale in. Wherever you are, exhale, place both hands down in front of you. Place that right heel down. Inhale yourself up for warrior one. Pulling that right left heel back towards you. Inhale, straighten that front leg. Exhale down in pyramid, hands on either side of that front foot, reaching the crown of the head down toward the toes, pulling that left hip back toward the right heel. Stopping anywhere along the way when your knee starts to bend. So if your knee starts to bend, then come up a little bit. Straighten that leg out. Breathing deep. Inhaling in, shining the heart. Exhale, relaxing your heart a little closer down towards your knee. A few deep breaths. Pushing down with that left big toe. Engaging the quad to lift the kneecap. And bring your torso parallel to the earth or as close as you can get. Reaching that right hand down. Reach the left fingers up into the sky. Palm down, up on those fingertips. Right hand to the left shin. Breathing deep, trying to kiss the shoulder blades back behind you, reaching the crown of the head right to where those left toes are pointing, tucking the left hip underneath you. One more big inhale in. Open just a little bit more. 
Exhale, place the hands down, and then cartwheel the arms, opening up into warrior two. Be sure that the left knee is right out over those toes, not collapsing into the right, pushing down with the outside of the right foot, relaxing the shoulders down, not leaning forward or leaning back. Inhale, turn that palm up, send it back, make the warrior peaceful. Gazing up toward the left hand, outside of the right foot, bending into that left knee, feeling the opening in the left obliques. And then inhale, straighten that front leg. Exhale, reaching the left hand as far as you can, and then down toward the earth, peace grip, shin. Trying to tuck that left hip underneath you. If you have a round in the spine, come up a little bit to find a nice straight spine. Breathing deep, wherever you are, really tucking that left hip underneath you. And pushing back with the outside of that right leg. Gazing up toward that right finger. And then bending into the left knee. Bring the left elbow up to your thigh. Right arm up over your ear. If that right thigh is pointing down to the earth, bring the left heel, right heel in so you can point it up toward the sky to really open the hips and tuck them underneath you. Maybe bringing that left hand down, really pushing out on the left knee with the left elbow, and maybe coming into the full bind, if that's in your practice. Breathing deep, wherever you are. Finding those long inhales and long exhales. Being kind and patient with yourself. One more big inhale. Exhale, release. Start to straighten the front leg, bring your toes parallel to each other. Keep walking all the way over to that right side, all the way around, coming seated. So that the right knee is on top. See if you can get your feet so they are in line with each other. And your sit bones heading down to the earth, your knees heading down toward each other. Sitting up tall, or starting to relax down over the knees. Feeling the outside of the hips release and relax. This is a pose that is often very uncomfortable, and one that I know I need to do more of. It's a very interesting part of the hips that's very hard to get to. See if you can just breathe through it, breathe a little deeper. Everyone comes sitting back up, inhale the arms up into the sky. Exhale, take the left hand on the outside of the right knee, right hand close into your sit bones behind you, twisting deep. With every inhale, reaching the crown of the head a little higher. With every exhale, twisting a little deeper. Inhale, reach. Exhale, twist. Finding those same long inhales and long exhales. One more big inhale in. And then exhale, unwinding. Keep the unwind going all the way back behind you. So you can straighten your legs back through the wide-legged forward fold. Walking over to those left toes. Turn the left toes out. Coming into the lunge. Inhaling in plank. Exhale down to Chaturanga. Inhale through and up. Upward facing dog. Exhale back, downward facing dog. Really pushing your whole legs back behind you. Releasing those hips. They should feel nice and juicy and warm. <sighs> Take a big inhale in through the nose. Hold the breath at the top. Open the mouth and sigh it out. <sighs> Big inhale in through the nose, hold the breath at the top, open the mouth and sigh it out. <sighs> Doing a lot of hip openers, a lot of work on the hips and hamstrings, working on that flexibility. And so much of our stresses, our worries, our thoughts, 
desires and ideas are all stuck in our hips. So be kind and patient with yourself. If you need to, you can come down to child's pose. But if downward dog is enough of a resting pose, just stay right here. Breathing deep. As you are ready, coming up through tabletop, send the hips up and back, coming to downward dog if you're not already here. Inhale that right heel up into the sky, sink the heart down toward the left toes, point the right toes, bend the knee, let it fall over to the side, really opening up that left hip. Staying here, coming into the half back bend, Kamat Katasana. Or if you'd like, you can come into the full back bend, stopping anywhere along the way. Take one more big inhale in. Exhale, bring that right hand down. Get the right heel all the way up into the sky. And then exhale it all the way through. Bring that right foot over toward the left hand. Right knee toward the right. Reach the left foot back behind you. Keep those right toes nice and flexed. And sit up tall. And then start to make your way out over that right thigh and shin. I'm going to try to keep that right knee on the right side of the body and the left foot on the left side of the body. If you have enough flexibility, one of the ways that makes it a little easier to keep those right toes from coming back in toward the left hip is to bring the left elbow on the inside of the right sole of the foot and then relaxing down using that little bit of leverage. Trying to get that left hip to come down to the earth to really open up the right hip. I take a little bit of time in pigeon prep, just releasing that right hip. With every inhale, finding a little more length. With every exhale, relaxing that hip just a little bit more. And notice what you're saying to yourself right now. Are they words of kindness and encouragement? Are they words of frustration and anger? I love the idea that every seven years, every cell in our body is replaced. We become a new human being every seven years. So maybe you're telling yourself, oh, I'm not that flexible and I'll never be that flexible. Well, you get to be a new you every seven years. So what are you telling this new you? Are you telling this new you that you don't have any flexibility? Or are you letting there be more space and more patience with every cell that is reborn? Be kind and patient with yourself and breathe a little deeper and just see what happens. Slowly coming back up to your hands, tuck the left toes, slowly sending that right heel all the way up and back, releasing that hip and placing it down next to the left. Inhale that left heel up, point the toe, bend the knee, let it fall over to the side. Staying here, reaching that knee up into the sky, or trusting that the earth is there behind you. Coming into the half back bend, making your way to the full back bend if you would like. Pushing down with that left heel, get those hips a little higher, get that knee a little higher if it's still up into the sky. One more big inhale in, and exhale, coming back, bringing that left heel all the way up and back. Big inhale in. Exhale, bring that left ankle over to the right wrist, left knee down toward the left, reaching the right toes back behind you, sitting up tall and relaxing out over the thigh and shin. Again, you can bring that right elbow into the inside of the sole of that left foot to hold it so it still keeps coming forward to the front of your mat. And then try to get that right hip down toward the earth, trying to square your hips off, relaxing down, 
Releasing that left side. A few deep breaths. Long inhales and long exhales. Being patient and kind with yourself. Any thoughts that have come in, any worries about your life? See if you can just find a little deeper breath for each thought. Find a little more release in that left hip for each bother that comes in, each distraction. So often when we start to cool down, so many thoughts about our lives start to come in. See if you can just find a little more space for every thought and let it go. Just watch it as it passes by. Watch it as it passes through you and you find just a little more release in that hip. <sighs> a little deeper breath. Find something about your body right now that you can be grateful for. Maybe it's just a really, really tight left hip that you get to work through. See if you can find a little gratitude in that. A little gratitude for being able to have the time to come to your mat today. A little gratitude for this practice that is available to you this ancient art that has been studied and worked on for centuries. Just so you can have a little bit of time with your breath, a little more space and peace in your body. Slowly coming back up to your hands, tuck the right toes. <laughs> Slowly sending that left heel all the way up into the sky, releasing that hip, and then bring that left foot down to meet the right. Take an inhale and turn the gaze forward, step or float to the front of your mat. Exhale, straighten the legs down in a nice forward fold. Should feel wonderful after all that work. Let the head be heavy, you can rock from side to side, clasp opposite elbows. Whatever you need to let that torso release and relax. Hmm. Heel toe your feet out to the edges of your mat. A nice wide legged forward fold. And grab a piece, grip around those toes if that's available to you, or tuck your hands underneath your feet. Whatever is most comfortable so that you can really feel the head, neck, and shoulders relax. Then turn the toes out, send the hips down toward the earth, bring the elbows right into your knees and come and do a squat. If you're collapsing into those armpits, take your feet just a little bit wider so that you can really sit up tall and feel it in the fronts of your hips. Rocking from side to side. And then just sit right down on the earth, let your feet come straight out in front of you. Take a big inhale in, reaching the fingers up, exhale down towards your toes. If you can grab a piece, grip around those toes, otherwise just hold on to your chin, shins, take a big inhale in, shine the heart up, exhale, rounding it down, inhale it up, exhale down, inhale up, exhale down, inhale up. Exhale down, inhale up, pulling down, exhale, release. Inhale up, pull, feeling that length, engage the low back, get the heart a little closer, exhale down. Inhale, feeling the length, exhale and release. 
With every inhale, pulling yourself a little closer. With every exhale, releasing. Listening to your breath. Listening to your body. And then slowly letting the head, neck, and shoulders be heavy. Walking back, rolling up one vertebra at a time. Roll all the way back on your mat. Bring your knees up into your chest. Release the low back. And then place the soles of your feet down on the earth, hip distance apart. Push yourself up for bridge. Tucking one shoulder blade and then the other, pushing the heel down and hips high. If you have an earth Dhanurasana practice, taking the hands underneath your shoulders, pushing yourself right up. If you have a regular earth Dhanurasana practice, like to try something a little different, start to make your way down to your forearms, reaching your fingers down towards your heels, coming up to the balls of your feet, and walking your toes and towards your fingers. Bring your knees toward each other wherever you are. Breathing deep. And then as you're ready, rolling down. One vertebra at a time. Bring the knees back up into your chest. If you're inverting today, go ahead and sit your feet up over your head. Toes down toward the earth. If you're not inverting today, bring the soles of your feet together. Place them down on the earth. Bring the right hand to your heart, left hand to your belly. Supta Baddha Konasana. For those of you that have come back for the inversion, you make your way up to shoulder stand. Bring those hands high up on your back, elbows in toward each other, finding a little stillness, breathing deep. Wherever you are, finding those long inhales and long exhales, finding that stillness, breathing deep. And then slowly, as you're ready, if you've come back for shoulder stand, make your way back through plow, deaf man's pose, balancing your knees on your forehead and rolling down one vertebra at a time. And then coming into happy baby. If you are in Supta Baddha Konasana, go ahead and make your way right in to happy baby. So you're going to bring your knees into your chest, insides of your knees to the outsides of your feet, and pull your knees down toward your armpits. And you can stay here, or if you'd like, you can bring the soles of your feet together, and then start pulling them in toward your chest, maybe toward your nose, your forehead. Or if you'd like, you can even cross your feet and place them behind your head. Stopping anywhere along the way. And then slowly releasing. <sighs> Bring the knees up into your chest. Rock from side to side. Release and relax. And then just hugging that right knee in, straighten the left leg out onto the earth. Hold on to that right knee with the left hand. Let it fall over the body. I'm trying to relax that right shoulder down. You can push that right hip down and away from you. And bend that left knee if you'd like, reaching for the top of that left foot. And or maybe straightening that right leg, reaching for a piece grip with the left fingers. So are all just ways to release that very last vertebra on our spine. It takes so much of our impact every time we take a step and creates so much tension 
every time we find ourselves sitting at a computer in the car, a wonderful stretch to come into for any sort of low back pain, high impact, just to help it to release and relax. Bring the knees back up into your chest. Straighten the right leg out. Hold that left knee in. Let the left arm fall out to the side and pull the left knee over the body. Again, you can push down on that left thigh to feel that length as well as the twist. You can bend that bottom knee if you'd like. Straighten the top leg. Whatever you need to let go in this final spinal twist. Finding those same long inhales and long exhales. Releasing and relaxing. Being kind and patient with yourself. Breathing deep. And then slowly bring your knees back up into your chest. Give yourself one final well-deserved hug. And then extend your feet and arms out in either direction. Cross the right heel over the left and cross the right thumb over the left so that your fingers are spreading out. And then pull your hands away from each other, reaching up above you as you pull your feet away from each other, feeling the low back pushing down into the earth. And then release, change the cross, cross that left ankle over the right, left thumb over the right, pulling them away from each other, feeling that release in the low back, feeling the length of your entire body, and then relaxing down into our final Shavasana. Tuck one shoulder blade and then the other, let your toes fall away from each other, reach the crown of your head out and away. If your tongue is connected to the roof of your mouth, release it so that you can feel that easy flow of air in and out of your nose. Keeping the eyes softly shut, allowing all of that work to integrate into the body. All of that flexibility, all of that space. Breathing deep. Feel the weight of your bones, the weight of your muscles, the weight of every cell in your body. Heavy, sinking down, supported by the earth underneath you. Allow yourself just to breathe. Allow yourself just to be.
Slowly allow your awareness to come back to your breath and just notice how you're breathing. See if you can feel your breath in your fingers and your toes. As you roll your wrists, your ankles, your knees, elbows, shoulders, rock your head from side to side, whatever you need just to wake up. Reach your arms up above you like you are waking up from the best dream. And keeping the eyes softly shut, rolling onto one side or the other, find your way back to that same comfortable cross-legged position in which we started class. Sitting up tall, finding those same long inhales and long exhales. Notice if you're sitting a little easier, if your breath is coming a little calmer, and if your thoughts seem just a little bit further apart. 